So this is our laundry soap that I just finished making. And we really like how clean it gets our stuff. Uh, we're gonna have some clean socks today. <laughs> That'll be nice. Okay, we are a little bit behind on our uh, planting of these sprouted seeds. Check it out. Ooh, these are nasturtium seeds. We've got a little girl here who is... Whoa, who is wants to help so... Very excited about helping. Oh, you're being so soft. Good job, Emmy. All right. Whoa, 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 careful. He's so soft. Oh, no. She grabbed the whole thing and just went Aww. Like little pieces of roots. Amazing. <laughs> so these have rooted out so much that we've got to dig big holes for them. And I'm carefully laying that tap root down. Oh, it even needs to be deeper than that. And then just kind of caving in the hole around it. These are very vigorous growers. It's amazing. So they're already up. They're already green on top. <laughs> she's trying so much to <laughs> do just what I'm doing, but she's not quite doing it right. Hi. Oh, that one's dead. That one's dead. Here go. Here go. Here you go. You want to hold this? What if she just? Oh yeah, by the seed. So oh careful. yeah. Thank you, Banjo. Good job. That's perfect. That's the part that we need to Can I put it in there. Good job. That's right. That's actually pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. Just a minute, sweetie. <laughs> oh, I want her to enjoy it and I want her to learn. Okay. But I'll write that that's Emmy's. Emma's nasturtium. Okay, Emmy, put it? the stick in. Right on the flower. <laughs> Good job. Emmy, right over here. I just was trying to put it right on in there. Mm -hmm. One uh, lid. Put it in there. So gentle. She's trying to be. That one broke too. <laughs> Good job, sweetie. Yay. <laughs> Maybe let's let Emmy put the stick in. Sweetie, I love you. <laughs> I think a girl helping is more important than seeds growing. Okay. All right. Lost about three. That's all right. That's worth teaching the little girl how to plant.
Sounds good. Yeah, let's do four more. All right, so we've obviously got a lot of work ahead of us still with this planting. Um, it's probably going to be a full day, so we will not have a 16-hour video today. But uh, we'll we'll move on to something else in a minute um, from your perspective. So see you in a minute. Love you guys. Hey guys, I'm gonna make some of my laundry soap today. And I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. We use borax and washing soda. You can just get these at the grocery store. Actually, all three of these. We use Zote soap. Um, this one's specifically made for laundry. But all of them are natural. Um, a friend uh, told me that if you microwave your Zote soap, then it is way, like it kind of puffs up like marshmallow sort of. And it is so much easier to grate. And so we're gonna do that. I've tried it before, it really is awesome. Um, so we're gonna grate two bars and then just dump these boxes and then you stir it up. It's really easy. Okay, so one of the cool things about uh, doing it this way is it creates a lot of soap and we, um, we fill up, it doesn't fill it all, all the way, but it lasts us about six months, which is really awesome. And it's also super concentrated um, because your normal laundry soap, either if it's liquid, it has a lot of water in it, and if it's the powder, what is that called? Anyway, the, the other kind of laundry soap has like filler in it, and so this is going to be going a lot further because of that reason. This is about $10 worth of products. So it's super affordable, and so that's really awesome too. Come over it with the microwaved soap. Okay, she's gonna hold this while you rub it. Okay. We've got two helpers. Okay, ready? Go. So did it puff up? I want to see. It's soft. If you go longer, it'll puff up. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty squishy, huh? Okay. So I did it for about 30 seconds. So we could have could have probably done it for a minute or so. All of them? Mm -hmm. All of it? Yep. This is about the easiest recipe ever. You just do one box of each of those. And it doesn't matter actually if you get the wrong size box. This is a four pound box of borax. And let me see Everett real quick. This is a about three and a half pound box of washing soda. So one box laundries. One box washing soda. Good job, Banjo. You're helping too, Emmy? Oops. to get that out. Oh, you got it. Good hey. job. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> what an accomplishment for a sweet girl. Good, good, good job, Emmy. You're a hard worker, baby. <laughs> and me too. So, when you're looking for zote soap at the store, or any other super fatted soap like that, you may find that there are soap flakes available, but they're just a little bit more expensive, so that's why we go ahead and put in the, put in the effort to do this. I say they're about twice as expensive, in fact. Mommy. So if you're in a hurry, you can buy the soap flakes and pay twice as much. Or you can just get the bars. And then I thought it was cheese. Feels like you're slicing cheese, huh? You're grating cheese. Don't eat it. Blech. Okay, so I just finished grating the two blocks of zote soap, and then I just mix it together with my hands, and to it gets pretty good consistency. Um, like that. And and that's it. Uh, it's really easy to make and it lasts a really long time. So when we wash, I just grab a handful, but it's probably about an eighth cup or less um, of soap into my full load of washing. And if I really want it clean, that, then I add maybe colloidal silver to it and I'll link to that video of how we make it ourselves. And that's how we can sanitize like diapers and things or it also helps if you are worried that 
the laundry is gonna get sour smelling, then it, it it's really nice for that too. Anyway, thanks guys for uh, joining us, and uh, if you guys any have any tips or any questions, just put them in the comments, um, and uh, we'll see you guys later. Well, there's some progress on our little tree and on our plants over here. Got bigger and bigger. This progress. is that tree that Trent took and it's got... We thought that it was dead. The, uh, or the, the leaves buds. are starting to bud out, yeah. So that's a good sign. I mean, it'll, they'll start to swell regardless, even if I... Even if it was a dead stick. But the way that's starting to come out and starting to actually grow... I think that means we've got some, we must have some roots growing down there. And there's no way to really check it right now without killing the tree. So we'll just continue to watch it, but yay, new life springs from badly damaged, bull eaten. And we got another trees. one in there.